In the sacrament of baptism, we welcome the newly baptized into the body of Christ and into the mission we share. Together, we are called to bear God's creative and redeeming word to all the world. We are baptized into the body of Christ. Therefore, there is no individual Christian. We are members of Christ and members one of another. I'm here at what was originally St. Pauli's Swedish Lutheran Church, serving the immigrant community 135 years ago. And today is San Pablo Lutheran Church, which continues to serve the immigrant community in the heart of the Phillips neighborhood in Minneapolis. So if we were to go out, take a walk around um, and randomly um, interview people and we said, would say, tell me about San Paolo, what would people say mm. in the community? I think the first thing is it's a place that makes me feel safe. Ah, mm -hmm. um, and, and that's a big part of why I think our community continues to do what they do mm -hmm. is how do people come and find themselves like they belong, they feel safe and they can be who they are. And we've always been an immigrant church, is what I tell folks. Nice. Um, that hasn't changed. It's just the congregation now looks mm -hmm. different because of who's here now. Mm -hmm. We have um, congregations in transition um, all over this church, either economically transition or, or ethnic and uh, racially transitioning. And you seem to be doing this with grace. Mm. It's possible. Yes. Mm -hmm. Who do we Tell serve? Us it's possible. It is possible. I mean, we're people of faith. <laughs> like we believe in Jesus. <laughs> um, I mean, that what makes it possible? I think what I've noticed in our community is that helping communities that are in this place of transition uh -huh. see what is possible in their own uh -huh. individual lives is one step. Ah. Um, and then I think being intentional about bridging with mm -hmm. the wider church is also what makes this possible. People that gather in communities like this mm -hmm. have something already to offer. Ah, mm -hmm. We don't bring something to offer mm -hmm. them, right? And so finding what it is that they have to mm -hmm. offer is, is, I think, one of the first steps. As, as a people of faith, that there is something that connects us across mm -hmm. cultures and across differences. And yes, our community recognizes that racism exists, mm -hmm. right? And our community rec and has lived it and mm -hmm. lives it, right? Mm -hmm. Just in this neighborhood in terms of how the city uh, looks at us, mm -hmm. right? Um, but that's not going to stop us from showing up. I remember going to my first synod assembly here mm -hmm. in the Twin Cities, and I, Lisette went with me. She had never yeah. been. Mm -hmm. And she said, Pastor, like, I now realize that I'm part of something mm -hmm. bigger. She had never been to something with so many Lutherans gathered, and she was so excited to be at synod assembly. Not a lot of people had shown <laughs> that enthusiasm, but she wanted to go and she wanted to learn. Mm -hmm. And that's the kind of sphere that this congregation has, is that they want to learn and they want to be a part of this broader expression of the church. Well, thank you, Pastor, for this wonderful conversation. But, but more than that, um, for the marvelous witness that you and your people are bringing about the expansive, inclusive love of God in Christ uh, to this neighborhood that is sort of a byword amongst other people in Minneapolis. And you're saying, no, this is a great place to be. And uh, it, it's just been such a wonderful time to spend with you. Thank you, Bishop. You're Let's very see. welcome. Yes. Thank you for being here. Yeah. <laughs> Mucho gusto. <Igualmente. laughs> Gracias. De nada. Together, we pray each and every day for a world experiencing the difference God's grace and love in Christ make for all people and all creation. Together, we join in worship. Our unity is in Christ, who gathers us around word and water, wine and bread. Strengthened and nourished, we are sent into the world to live out our vocation among all God's people. Together, we put our faith in action as we work for healing, peace and justice. Together, we serve our neighbors and respond to the needs of our communities. Our church members support vital ministries and our church buildings provide places of hospitality and refuge. Together, 
We are called to service through ELCA World Hunger and Luther Disaster Response, showing how God is at work in the midst of natural disasters and humanitarian crises. Together, we connect our faith to public life. Through ELCA advocacy, we stand up for policies that reduce poverty, promote dignity, and defend God's creation. We have a distinctive and meaningful way to share God's love with the world. The body of Christ is for everyone, and it is a joy to invite others into the mission we share. As we give ourselves in service to one another, we also receive comfort and care from a loving community in times of need. We know the gospel changes lives. And as the world changes, we seek new ways to share the good news with our neighbors. Together, we go out into our communities to share the love of Jesus so that all may come to know and experience God's grace in action. And together, we are called to offer our gratitude first to God for the gift of grace through Christ Jesus and to you who faithfully serve Christ's church in so many ways. Together, we are called.